Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. We just wait for a few more people to join and then we can get going. I've got some very sad news to tell you all that Miss Daisy is not joining us today. I'm really sorry. It's just a bit too hot and she's been doing sport all afternoon and she's really hot. So she's not joining us today, but she is coming again on Saturday. She's just having her first day off, which is very sad, but um, she'll make up for it. And she's fine after her massive head injury, <laughs> bashing herself on Monday. But we'll have a very... It'll, she'll be greatly missed, but I promise I'll do my best without her. So thank you all for joining me. Today we're going to be doing elderflower because I felt that hopefully we should all find some elderflower in the in the in our hedges, in the hedgerows that we can make elderflower cordial with. So I thought let's do some elderflower, but it's going to be quite tricky because these are all white. So I'm going to leave those white. But I'll just wait for a few, just wait till quarter past and then we'll get going. I'm just thinking about my colour palette while I'm waiting. Thinking about these whites and then this is quite a sort of acidy green. So I'm going to go a brighter green than my usual one. I love elderflower too. It's amazing. So sweet and delicious. So it's going to be really simple, this lesson today. It's going to be really lovely, beautiful, beautiful, simplistic. Are you going to draw it first? Yes, I am going to draw it first. So I'm going to get a blank piece of paper. I'm just waiting till quarter past. So I thought I'd leave my... This is the downloadable that you can download off my website if you want to go for it from here. Or you can just use a plain piece of paper, which is what I'm going to do. So we can start now, it's quarter past. So thank you all for joining. It's lovely to see so many gorgeous faces. faces. Okay, so I'm gonna put, take the downloadable away. I've got some nice clean paint water and I'm going to start by just simply, I'm gonna do three stems. So I'm gonna put one little head there, one head there and one head down here. And then I'm gonna divide these heads I'm going to make that one big one and then I'm going to make this one into some little ones. So I'm going to just bring that and get those stems. So that's a stem like that. And again, I think we'll break this one up into two like that. And then nice loose lines, bring it down. And this one, even though it's going to be one big stem, I'm going to pop some different lines in to bring it into one. And then we can start to get some of the flowers onto it. What I should have done, which I haven't done, is I should have gone into my hedgerows before the lesson um, and had a look to see. So everyone can go and have a look. Because I know I just thought it's this time of year, isn't it, that we will make our elderflower cordial, which I absolutely love. Um, and we make loads of it and it lasts for months. And we put it with champagne and we just have it with water. It's delicious. Oh, Tracy Ann's requesting to join to be to be I'm trying to do Daisy's job as well because she's she's having a day off today. Um so please forgive her. She's not because she doesn't want to be here, she just is a bit hot and bothered. So we, I said, why don't you have the day off? So, but she'll be with us again on Saturday. Um, so I'm doing her job as well as mine, so forgive us. But hopefully we'll have just as lovely a day. So let's just get these in and we can get some leaves in. 
nice floppy different shapes well done how's everyone getting on i hope you're doing all right do let me know if there's anything I can do to help anyone in terms of teaching them if they feel like I've had some amazing feedback from you all saying that you've feel like you've really improved and stuff, which is really lovely to hear. But if there's anything, you know, specific that you'd like help with, do let me know because I can talk you through how to do certain things or if you're happy with it the way it is, that's great too. But um, if there's anything at all, just shout. So I'm just getting some nice light lines in. Really delicate. I mean, elderflower is just so delicate. So you just, I'm just popping these circles, all different shapes and sizes, keeping my pen really light. Just going over the original pencil marks and adding lots more and then when I go in with pen I'll go in with more detail again and I'll go over it and I'm just going to add a few waves as well as some circles just to really try and get a bit more shape into it there we go that's starting to really take shape now and then when I put my pen I'll be able to add more lines in so do the same on this one here just put some of the veins stems in here and go like that I'd love to know if anyone has tried downloading any of their art onto any products on our website as well that would be nice to hear how what you think of that new feature on our website it's quite fun you might start to see some of my artwork featuring on some of my stationery and products as well quite excited today i did first time ever we're now selling candles so I took some photography of some candles. I think we've got our first live product of candles on our website this afternoon. Quite nice teacher's gifts. Starting to see those selling. So sorry, I'm talking rather than just getting on. And it's a bit feels a bit weird not having Daisy with me. Oh, I miss her. Okay, so starting to really take shape now so I can get this last one really lovely light soft it's such a delicate delicate it's a weed I think elderflower a weed that makes produce tell me if I'm wrong Okay, so I'm happy with my pencil marks now. So I'm just, I mean, I could go on and put quite a few more, but I actually quite like the simplicity of it. So I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm now going to get all the stems in. Try and make it as delicate as I possibly can. Really light lines. Get all those lines in and sort of go in different places as well because especially because this is all going to be white so these real the, so these markings become more important because there's gonna the paint's not gonna do so much so I'm just popping in some lines some dots and some circles just layering it in Hi, Els. Well done, guys. So just layer in the marks. So we've got the initial pencils and now get start to get more detail 
if you watercolor over your pen lines will it bleed well it shouldn't do if you've got the correct pen it won't if you haven't it will um so in which case i'm guessing if you've got pens that are going to leak it probably means that you haven't got a really fine paintbrush either which is fine you could use a bic baro that's that doesn't leak um, but if you go onto my website, there's on the art classes, there's an art class button at the top of the website. I've put some recommended materials and in there there's some pens that don't leak. So this pen, for instance, is an architect's pen and it comes in lots of beautiful, fine, fine nibs. This is a 0.25, which is lovely and delicate. Um, you have to hold it really lightly though because otherwise you'll find it's very scratchy so you have to be very it's almost like you have to be careful not to drop the pen out of your hand but you need to honestly it's like you're not holding it and then I mean it's very difficult in this heat because you really want your hand to glide over the paper you want it to be so soft and not matter where your pen goes really just keep making the marks lovely markings on the page lots of circles different sizes i mean look at that circle it's not even a circle it's like a figure of eight but it doesn't matter that's part of the charm you just keep doing lots of delicate markings so that the feel is that it's actually little flowers but it's really just different shapes and you're just adding layers and layers of paper pen. And because elderflower is white, you're not gonna be painting that. You could do, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave it, let the pen do the work, and then I'm gonna do the green, lovely acid green. I'm actually gonna add another stem of leaves here onto this big one and here just make this one a bit bolder than the other two really lovely delicate markings oh I'm starting to de-stress after my day, unwind. So nice and quiet. My aunt is an artist and for my birthday she gave me a beautiful palette and so many brushes. Oh, that's so nice. What a lovely, lovely gift. Well, hopefully you can Put it to really good use in this lovely t time that you suddenly found you've got. That's such a nice thoughtful present. Okay. So just continuing the same sort of feel to the one next door but I'm just doing much little ones. And I actually feel like that's quite, I'm gonna make this one a bit flatter. So there we go. And then the last one I'm going to get, I'm going to do like spotty dotty craze just to get the vague shapes. So delicate, delicate, delicate lines. There you go. So you can see I've just gone around the outside, but I've actually made it a bit smaller than what I'd done in my pencil mark because I felt next to the other one. It's quite nice to have a contrast. So now just making markings and now I'm going to do some circles. 
Daisy also had an art class at school today. It's annoying that her art classes at school are on a Wednesday. So she was doing some still life. Okay, so let's get this one. Again, I'm not quite so happy with the shape that I've done on the pencil, so I'm just going to change it slightly. And just now that I've got the stems in, just change it. It's starting to really take shape. Lots of lovely detail in there. And really, my work is then done. Because it's only going to be the leaves that I'm going to colour in, paint. So I can take great care. So slightly changing this one as well, the leaves. There we go. And I'm going to just put a little bit more detail into those. And do the same again over here, just add a little bit of detail. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I just pressed the wrong thing. Help. <laughs> Daisy! Oh my goodness, I don't know what to press to get back. Oh, hilarious. Hello, what am I meant to be pressing? Hang on a sec. just get technical support to come and help me move the camera. I keep going. I press press wave and by mistake I moved the camera and I can't see how to turn it around. Flip the button. There we go. Thank you, Lucy. I didn't see that. I just panic. I just... Top left hand corner. I know. It's easy when you know how. I'm just... Miss Panic, Miss Stressy, Stressy Nessie is what some of my friends call me. So anyway, I was just saying I'd felt like I was de-stressing. And we are. And breathe. Okay, so I've got some... There we go. I'm really happy with... Hey, Trace. Hello, Nessie's husband. He's, he's done a runner. He hasn't stayed. Okay, so I'm going to use this really vibrant green. There's not much paint in there, but that will keep me going for months, hopefully. So I've got some cleanish water. I'm not brilliantly clean, but. Um, okay, and so I'm just gonna pop my paintbrush in here. Got a lovely small paintbrush, and I'm going to work the paintbrush into the paint with the water and just get the water, the color of the paint use my paint as a palette really okay so i'm happy with that paint in that corner there so that's the paint i'm going to use yeah. that plus water from here that's all i'm going to use i'm not going to go anywhere else in there i'm just going to use this point point here where the water is so i'm going to pop paint that I've got on my brush. Now I'm going to put it in the water and I'm going to, that just dropped the water. Oh man, look, that's beautiful. Beautiful, delicate lines. I'm 
almost want it to go over the lines, just, just make it. Because I've done such delicate markings, you can almost emphasize it by, I like that. I like the fact that down the bottom there, can you see? It's just kind of not bright enough for you to be able to see. So there we have it, there's our first elderflower, almost complete, simple, how's that? I might just add a little bit of green into the elderflower for where the stems are coming through. But I think actually, I'd rather not, I think I'd rather just add a little bit more detail so there's that one Emma Winter I'm not sure you wanted to do a live video with me I think you've just pressed the wrong button which I find one to talk not knowing how to flip it so I'm just keeping my paint really close to the paper really helps then you can work really nice and quickly because you want to, especially in this heat because it's going to dry super quick so you need to use even more water than you would usually use and then there we go there we go. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. There's my elderflower. So now we need to all report back and see if we found, can find any in our hedgerows. Now, whilst everyone else is finishing off theirs, I'm going to just spend the next 10 minutes just relaxing and just doing this one because... It has been a particularly stressful day today. I've been working very hard on trying to get new products out and um, I need a bit of downtime. So I'm just going to quietly fill in this lovely, I've written the word paint with the delicate elderflower. Which I'm going to go out tonight and see if I can see any. Nice, delicate lines. Oh, this is so therapeutic. Just keeping lots of colour. I'm sorry Daisy hasn't joined me today. I hope people aren't too disappointed. I just thought it would be nice for her to enjoy being outside on this beautiful day. She's absolutely exhausted. There we go. really pretty <laughs> cordial and wine yeah I like the sound of that delicious okay very delicate Yes. 
Yes, yeah, so someone was. Someone said how excited they were about Saturday's art class. They're doing surfboards, waves, and surfboards. So that should be quite fun. I spoke to one friend at the weekend whose kids were kite surfing. Sounds amazing. So just get this last letter in. Lovely, long, swooping tea. There we go. That's gorgeous. Lots of water on the paintbrush. Well, I have to say, it's a lovely art class, but I definitely prefer it with Daisy here. But I am very grateful that you all came. So thank you. Here we go. Look, and I've even finished that before. So I get more done with that days, but I prefer the distraction. I like my time with her. So there we go. There we have it. So I think we can... I wonder whether I could do something else or whether we just leave it at that. It's rather beautiful. I guess I should leave you guys to keep painting. I'm totally done. Let me know if you've got any questions I can answer. Um. Yay. How's everyone getting on? Are they enjoying their painting this afternoon? Who's finished? Anyone finished? Time flies when you're having fun. It sure does. How's she getting on? She nearly done? She been as quick as me? Or is she still working away? I could have, I was considering at the beginning. Yes, always lovely. I was considering doing this as like I did with the sweet peas at the beginning where I did it as a rainbow quite fun. Now what goes with lemon cordial? What do you put with it? I'm just thinking I could draw, draw some bits. Still drawing. Are you having, we're having a lovely time. Oh good. Thank you guys. Um, I just, I'm just thinking what goes, I suppose I could do some, is it, le it is lemons isn't it that goes with the for sure, elderflower cow party, as I missed the beginning, but I've just bottled this year's syrup. I'm going for the former lovely stuff with GNT. Oh, so yes, it is out already. Awesome. Did you put lemons with it? I can't remember without looking at the recipe. Oh, excellent. I can go out. Yes, it's elderflower. It's not, it's not cow parsley, although you could mistake it for cow parsley for sure. Ice and lemon. Okay, brilliant. So let's do... I'm going to, just in the last couple of minutes, I'm going to do, you put lemon with the cordial, but when you're making the cordial, do you use lemon in the recipe? I'm pretty sure you do. So like the orange slices and the lemon slices that we did, so we did lemon on Monday, didn't we? So we can just do exactly the same, put some lemons underneath the cordial. So I'm not very good at not doing anything, just relaxing. So I find this much more relaxing than not doing anything. There we go. That's starting to look really nice. And then I might just do a, a real lemon. There we go. Lots of sugar and boiling water, yes, that's it. And then some acidic something, isn't it? That you can buy from the chemist, which I've still got in my larder from last year. There we go, look, that start. I should have thought of doing that in the beginning anyway, because add some more colour to my page. That'll look really nice in yellows. Oh, so let's just pop that lemon in. Slice of lemon. And acidic acid, that's the one. 
cast of sugar, oranges and lemons. Oranges, oh, I'd forgotten about that. Shall I make this into an orange then? This could be an orange or a lemon, couldn't it, at this point? Let's get all these lovely lines in. That's it. And get these. I wish I was good with the terminology of it all. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We've all got our strengths. So now I'm gonna do this one as a lemon. And I'm being really big and brave or silly because I'm not gonna do pencil marks first. I'm just gonna go for it. But I actually really love the pencil marks with the pen. But anyway, just because now I'm short on time, I'm just rushing, but that's okay. Just want to finish it. Don't want to not finish. So I'm going to make this my lemon and that my orange. There we go. And then we just. You don't worry with acidic acid. Just use the zest and the lemon. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I've never considered that sounds much healthier. Well, I don't know, all well, that sugar, it's so much sugar in it. Okay, so just get my little circles again to give it some texture. There we go. Right, this will be nice to add some more color. So we've got some real orange, deep orange in here. I'm going to do this outside line orange. There we go. And then these bits. So I want to keep it really rich colour, but I don't want to not have the water. I don't want it to feel solid. So I'm getting those lines in, and then I'm going to add some water. Some are they going to go over the lines and some are not. So it's got a feel of lightness to it. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same with my lemon. I'm going to have to bring my paint closer to my page. And also so you can see. <laughs> it's awkward. Okay, there we go. See both, so getting lots of paint, lots of water into my paint. So, really working at the paint, dabbing my water there. So, now it's and now nice and delicate line all the way around the outside. And then do the triangles. There we go. And then I'll do the last but not least, the lemon, because we've run out of time. So I'd love to see everyone else's work. Thank you for sharing it all on Monday. That was lovely. I've definitely got a winner from Monday, but I know it's not Monday. I've got to see them all before. So keep sending your work. And I'm going to make this a darker green than the other one. Which I'm not sure about having another green on the page, but I've gone for it. So there we go. So there's my elderflower and my therapy paint. So thanks guys for joining. Did you ever use those powder pigments when painting? No, I do know what you mean. And I've just, Daisy and I were looking today earlier, trying to find some tie dye. Um, and the only tie-dye stuff that we could find is like Amazon was coming at the end of June, which Daisy really couldn't bear to wait till. Um, so if anyone's got any hot tips on where to find tie-dye stuff, we'd love to know. Um, thank you all, and we'll see you Saturday morning. Okay, look forward to seeing all your artwork. See ya, bye. Thank you.